So what are you noticing in the market that people are struggling with? What what are these beginners in the Spanish market struggling with most right now, do you think? The main thing that people are struggling is focus. <laughs> There's a lot of noise out there, a lot of noise. Um, they think something is this. They think all oh, their business models are better than what they're doing right now. So they lose focus completely right away. And they lose focus because they see other people which are higher than them, people that have already have their credibility, they have gotten their own results. When they see those people, they try to emulate those people. And when that happens, they're not really learning, but they're jumping from here to here to here. So it's almost like shiny object syndrome. Um, and I know this because there's people that tell me, well, why don't we use this, right? And I'm like, okay, well, you could use that, but that's not what I teach in my course. Um, there's people that see other people doing different things and they try to copy that the same thing. And they don't know if that's a good strategy or not. What they're noticing a lot is people that have followers. They think that just because somebody has a lot of followers, that's somebody that knows what they're doing. But in reality, not everybody knows what they're doing just because they have those followers. And that's what people look at, you know, people look at the numbers and I always tell them, you know, followers is just a number. That's all it is. It doesn't mean they're making so much money just because they have that number right there. Right, right, right. And, and that makes a lot of sense really, because when you're new, you know, it's, it's, you're getting information, right? You're getting a lot of information, but you don't really know how to decipher it yet because you're brand new. And that's, that's fair. That's not a knock on anybody. That's just the way it is. And when you're new and you're trying to decipher information, everything looks amazing. Right. And so that really adds to the shiny object syndrome because, you know, I, I've, I've talked about the emotional cycles of change before, and this is, you know, a situation where you come into something, you don't know anything about it. So you have what is known as uninformed optimism. You think it's amazing because, Hey, you're seeing people make money. You don't know anything about it. Let's dive into it. You start getting information and then the next stage or the next, next emotional cycle of change is you get informed pessimism where you start to like see that, hey, maybe affiliate marketing has a few more pieces than just creating videos and making money. Maybe you do need a funnel. Maybe you do need to focus on your email marketing. And that's when people get to that stage, the next stage is the valley of despair. And that's where you're just thinking, oh, this isn't going to work. It's too hard. Uh, maybe I'll go try something else. Right. And that's what that's what triggers the shiny object syndrome. It's like, ooh, I'll go see this. This looks a lot easier. So you go back to a, a different business model, so to speak, or a slightly different business model where you get that that sense of comfort of uninformed optimism. I don't know anything about this, but it seems better. And people just do that cycle again and again and again. They never get to the point where they start gathering information and then they get informed optimism. And then, of course, the final stage is success. Well, when you've been doing this for a long time, when your market is more evolved, you've been in the game. You've been there for a couple of years. You've seen, hey, that sounds good. But you start to think about what the other challenges might be because every business model has challenges. And you you start to progress through things a little bit more, not cautiously, but strategically. It's like, well, I'm starting to feel like this might be too hard let me get more information. And, and it seems like a lot of people who are new to this, they haven't developed that skill set yet. So yeah. what, what are the, you know, obviously you're teaching affiliate marketing. So you're bringing people into the funnel that are interested in affiliate marketing. Uh, 